Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ba mag-solve ng word problems involving operations on polynomials, which is yung learning task number 3 nyo dyan sa mga module ninyo. Pero bago ko simula ng video na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Excuse me, at kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, so for, for our problem number one, we have what is the area of the rectangle whose length is x plus 9 and the width is x minus 9. So, since we are talking about the area, dapat alam natin ano yung formula ng area ng rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is equal to the length times width. So, whatever your, your length, sorry, multiply mo siya sa width mo. Okay, so ano ba yung length natin? We have x plus 9. And then, yung width natin ay x minus 9. So, multiply natin dyan. Doon sa multiplication natin, ang ginagawa natin, diba, dinidistribute natin to, dinidistribute din natin ito. Pero may strategy kasi kung, kung paano natin, sorry, multiply yung binomial to binomial. At tinatawag natin itong foil method or mas kilala siyang a smile method. Okay, ano ba tong dalawa na to? Paano ba ito gagawin? Pero dapat alam muna natin ano muna tong foil method. Foil method is first term, outer term, inner term and then last term. Identify natin ano ba Yung first term, ano ba yung last term, ano ba yung inner term, at ano ba yung outer term. So, kung titingnan natin dito, yung unang dalawang term, ang tawag natin dyan ay first term. So, siya yung F. Yung nasa hulihan naman, kaya nga siya tinawag na last term kasi siya yung nasa hulihan. Ito yon yung 9 sa yung negative 9. Sila yung multiply mo. And then, inner term yung nasa loob. And then, outer term, yung nasa labas. Kaya din siya tinawag na smile kung mapapansin nyo kung lalagyan nyo siya dyan ng mukha. O, di ba? Anong mukha ng mata? Para na siyang mukha na nakangiti. O, kaya yan yung gagawin natin dito. O, sige, unahin muna natin yung first term. Okay, so, x times x. O, lagay ko dito ha, x times x, a first term. So, we will have here, ia-add natin yung exponent, x squared. So, you will have your x squared. Okay, next, outer term, x times negative 9. Outer is x times negative 9. So, dahil wala naman tayong ma-add na exponent, eh, di copy lang natin. So, we have your negative 9x. So, you will have your negative 9x. And then, susunod natin, inner, 9 times x. So, we have i, 9 times x. So, what is 9 times x? Wala ulit tayong i-add na exponent, kaya copy na lang sila, 9x. So, that is positive 9x. And then, we have the last term for L. And that is 9 times negative 9. 9 times negative 9 is 81. Pero dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, we will have negative 81. Okay? And then, kung mapapansin natin, ped, may pwede tayong i-combine ng like terms. Eto, ba? Si negative 9x plus si 9x, pwede natin i-perform yung operation. O, sige nga, i-add natin yung negative 9 at 9. Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, hindi natin sila pwedeng i-add, kaya magiging 0 siya. ba? So, mawawala na lang to. Ang matitira na lang ay si x squared minus 81. O, sige, gayahin itong procedure na ito para ma-solve ninyo yung number 1 ninyo. Okay, for number 2, what is the area of the square whose 
sides measure 4x plus 5. Okay, alam naman natin na ang square ay iisa lang ang measurement ng side nila. Ibig sabihin, kung ito ay 4x plus 5, 4x plus 5 na rin to, 4x plus 5 na rin to, at 4x plus 5 na rin to, kasi equal lang lahat. Okay? At ang area for the square is side squared. Ibig sabihin, whatever the value of your side, i-square mo siya or i-multiply mo siya sa sarili niya. So, you will have here for x plus 5 squared. O, expand natin to. Magiging 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5. Okay? So, ngayon gagawin ulit natin si foil or si smile. O, sige nga, gawin natin to. First term muna. 4x times 4x. O, sulat ko dito para guided kayo ha. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Then, you have 1 plus 1 x squared. So, meron ka ngayon 4 x squared. Okay? And then, 5 ay outer. 4 x times 5. So, we have 4 x times 5. 4 times 5, you have 20 x. Okay? Copy lang to kasi wala kang i-add dyan. So, plus 20 x. And then, inner, 5 times 4 x, you will have there 20 x. X. Okay, so plus 20x. And then 5 times 5, you will have 25. Okay, so plus 25. Ngayon, yung middle term natin, pwede ulit silang i-perform. O, what is now 20 times, ano, 20 plus 20? Dahil pareho sila ng sign. Okay, ba 20x plus 20x, pwede silang i-add. So, ilan ito? This is a 40x. So, plus a 40x plus 25. O, oh, ayan na yung sagot. Okay? For number 3, we have the area of the rectangle is 4x squared plus 10x minus 6. So, what is the length if the width is x plus 3? So, since we have the area which is equals to length times width, dahil given tayo ng width para makuha natin yung length, i-divide natin yung area. So, you will have the length. I-divide natin yung given area by its width. So, kung ganyan iyan, you will have here for x squared plus 10x minus 6. I-divide natin siya by x plus 3. Okay, so what is 4x squared? Ito, divided by x. O, lagay ko dito ha. Okay, i-divide ko siya by x. So, 4 divided by 1 is 4. Quotient rule, 2 minus 1 is x. 1 na lang siya. No need to write ha. Kaya, meron tayong 4x dito. Tapos ito, i-multiply ko dito. I-multiply ko din dito. Okay, what is 4x times x? Okay, so you will have 4 and then 1 plus 1, 2. So your x is squared, 4x is squared. Okay, dito yan. And then 4x times 3, you will have 12x. Okay, so plus 12x. Okay, that's minus, ba? Pero alam nyo na kapag minus, ang ginagawa natin ay KCC. We keep, we change, and then we change. So, i-keep ito, i-change ito, lahat ito, i-change. Positive magiging negative, positive magiging negative. Okay, 4x squared plus negative 4x squared, 0 na lang siya. Kasi magkaiba, ba? Magkaiba ng sign, ima minus. And then, 10 plus negative 12, dahil sila ay magkaiba, ima minus natin sila. Okay, so you will have here, what? 2x, pero ano ang sign? Negative. And then, we have minus 6. Okay, now what is negative 2x divided by x? So, we have negative 2x divided by x. So, negative 2 divided by 1 is negative 2. You have 1 minus 1, 0 na lang to, ba? So, you will have here negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Minus. Pero alam nyo na kailangan ulit gawin si KCC. Tama. Kaya magiging keep, change, and then change lahat ito. 
Kaya ito magiging positive, ito magiging positive na. Okay, negative 2 plus positive 2, 0 na siya. Negative 6 plus 6, 0 na din. Kasi magkaiba sila, ba? At hindi mo sila pwedeng i-add. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 4x minus 2. Okay, galingan dyan ha! For number 4, what is the average speed of the car that covers 2x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 1 kilometers in 2x minus 1 hour? So, kung mapapansin ninyo, ang kinukuha natin dito ay speed. At kung i-research nyo yan, ang formula ng speed ay equals to the distance divided by time. So, division na naman ito. So, paano natin siya gagawin? E di i-divide natin. You will have your 2x raised to 3 minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 1. Okay, i-divide natin siya by 2x minus 1. Okay, what is now 2x cubed divided by 2x? So, 2x raised to 3 divided by 2x. So, 2 divided by 2, wala na siya kasi 1 lang naman siya. And then, 3 minus 1, you will have your x squared. So, you will have your x squared. And then, ito, multiply dito sa dalawa. So, you will have your x squared times 2x. So, you will have 2x raised to 3. 2 plus 1 is this one. So, 2x raised to 3. And then, negative 1 times x squared. Okay, so this will be negative x squared na lang ha. Kahit hindi na sulat yung 1. Okay na yun. So, you will have your negative x squared. Okay, and then minus yan. Pero alam niyo di ba? Pag minus, ang ginagawa natin ay kcc. Oh, wait lang. Ayaw magbago ng ballpen ko. Wag na nga. So, this will become positive Keep ito, change ito, and then ito, magiging negative, ito magiging positive. Okay, so this one is cancelled. So, negative 7 plus positive 1. So, dahil magkaiba sila, ima-minus natin. 7 minus 1 is 6x squared, and then bring down 5x. O, ito naman yung i-divide natin by 2x. So, 6x squared divided by 2x. 6 divided by 2 is 3 x, so you have 2 minus 1, you have 1 na lang. Which is, hindi na kailangang ilagay. So, you will have here plus 3x. Now, 3x times 2x ulit. So, you will have 6x squared. Tama, ba? 3x times 2x, 3 times 2 is 6. And then, 1 plus 1, x raised to 2. And then, 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x. Minus yan, ba? So, we have KCC. Keep. And then, change. Change ko rin yung kulay nito. Para hindi malito. So, we have to change. And then, change this one. And then, change this one. So, eto, wala na. Zero na yan. So, what is now? 5x plus 3x. Okay? That is 8x minus 1. O, ito naman i-divide natin by 2x. So, what is 8x divided by 2x? Ito, wala na. So, 8 divided by 2, you will have 4. So, plus 4. Tapos, it times ulit dun sa dalawa. So, 4 times 2, you will have your 8x, ha? Kasi 2x ito. And then, 4 times negative 1 is negative, how many? Negative 4. And then, we are going to do, again, KCC. Okay, so, nagluloko ulit siya. Wait lang natin siyang mag-read. Aha, wait. Ayan na, so, na-doble-doble na siya. So, eto ngayon ay KCC, so, plus na siya. Ito minus na, ito plus. So, 8x plus negative 8x, wala na yan. Okay, and then, negative 1 plus a 4, you have here... 3 na lang siya. Kasi, magkaiba ng sign. So, hindi pwedeng i-add. Kaya, 3 na siya. Okay? Tapos, hindi na siya natin madi-divide. Kaya, eto na yung remainder natin. So, plus 3 over 2x minus 1. So, your final answer will be x squared plus 3x plus 4 plus 3 over 2x minus 1. 
Okay, so this is our speed. Now, for the last number, number 5, multiplied, uh, multiplied, multiply m squared plus 3m minus 3 by the sum of m plus 4 and 3m minus 4. So, kailangan mo nang i-add ito bago i-multiply dito. So, add muna tayo m plus 4 plus 3m minus 4. Okay, m plus 3m, you have invisible 1 here. So, 1 plus 3, you will have 4m. And then, 4 plus negative 4, 0 na siya. So, eto lang siya. Okay, eto ngayon, multiply ko dito. So, 4m times m squared plus 3m minus 3. I-distribute ha, lahat bibigyan. 4m times m squared, you will have 4m raised to 1 plus 2, 3. And then, 4m times 3m, you will have their positive 12m, 1 plus 1, you have 2. And then, we have 4m times negative 3, so 4 times 3 is negative 12, and then m. Ayan na, ito na yung sagot. O, oh, ayan, sana natulungan ko kayo kung paano nyo sasagutan yung mga modules no ha. I-comment nyo yan sa baba para naman mag-apit ang video na ito at makita din ng iba. Kahit simple thank you lang mga anak ha, basta mag-comment kayo. Huwag aalis ang hindi nagko-comment, okay? Laging tatandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!